Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com, here to do a video showing you how to force roam on Verizon's network on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Uh, this is something I recommend for people that are getting very poor Sprint signal like me. You'll see I have absolutely no bars. When I'm at my house, I cannot even have a conver phone conversation for over five minutes without the call getting dropped. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video for you guys showing you how to force roam on Verizon if you're having these issues. Um, keep in mind that it does say you do have unlimited uh, roaming, but I know some people that have gotten their contracts uh, eventually terminated for using too much uh, roaming data. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, use it at your own risk. So first of all, you do need to be on an AOSP ROM. You need to be rooted, have a custom recovery, and be on an AOSP ROM. You cannot just be rooted stock. Um, it must be on a ROM that has been built from source, so an AOSP ROM, I'm on, I believe, M Muzzy's uh, 4.1.2 ROM, 4.2.1 ROM, sorry. Um, also, you can try AOKP, Signage Mod, any of those kind of ROMs that are built from source, AOSP, so um, that is what you first need. Next, you're going to need to flash a zip through uh, your custom recovery, so click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description is going to take you to this website. Big shout out to Big Rush Dog for throwing this app together for us. Be sure to thank him, everyone else that was involved in getting this together. But you'll see, download Sprint Diagnostics right here. So click on this link, it'll download a zip file. Once that zip file is downloaded, transfer it over to your internal storage of your device. And once you transfer it on over, you can go back to your phone. To transfer that Sprint Diagnostics zip over to your device, you can just hit Reboot Recovery. I'm assuming if you're in an AOSP ROM, it'll have that option. Just hit Reboot. Uh, otherwise, though, just make sure you get into your custom recovery. All right, once we're in that custom recovery, all you have to do is just go to Install and then find that Sprint Diagnostic zip select it and then hit swipe to flash or if you have clockwork mod hit confirm to install and that's it just hit reboot system so that's all you have to do no wipes necessary just go ahead and flash that zip let it reboot i'll be back all right now once your phone has booted up go to your app drawer and just double check that the sprint diagnostics application is now in your app drawer because that will be needed to write manually write the prl to our device to check what prl variant you are on you can actually go into settings Scroll down, go to About Phone, and then you'll want to click on Status. And then scroll down and you will see PRL version right there. Uh, the latest is, I believe, 25009. I think that's the latest PRL version. So that's most likely what yours is going to say. But that's how you're going to check your PRL in the future. Okay, so now we're going to need to download some PRLs. To do so, click on the next link in the description. It's actually, I believe, going to take you to my website. And then you'll see a big download button. Click on that and download the file. And once you actually download that file, it'll be called PRL, it'll be a zip file. Double click on that zip file and inside you'll see it says it has a folder called PRL. Just click and drag it over to your desktop and inside that PRL folder, I want to open it up, you'll see various PRLs. The top four are Verizon, uh, Force Roaming on Verizon, and the bottom one is uh, the Sprint's latest PRL to get back to Sprint's uh, network on their PRL. So uh, you'll see that, but what I want you guys to do is grab this folder and connect your Galaxy Nexus to your PC and just click and drag this folder onto the root of your internal storage. So just click and drag it onto your uh, storage of your phone, and once you've done that, you can go back to your phone, so once you have that folder on your device uh, with all the PRLs inside of it, you can go ahead and go back to your app drawer and you'll go into the Sprint Diagnostics application. And once you're in this application, what you're going to want to do is go to PRL Manager. So select that. And then up at the top, you'll see Set PRL Folder. At the end, I highly recommend adding PRL at the end because, well, you need to do that because we have that PRL folder. So just I believe it sets it to the uh, path where it is by default, just the the root of your internal storage. Just add PRL at the end after a uh, forward slash. So uh, add that PRL, and now what we can do is just go ahead and select write PRL. It actually lets you know what your current PRL is. Um, and inside it will show all of those PRLs that were inside that folder because we have pointed this PRL folder to um, that PRL folder that we put on our device. So uh, you'll see 123, 1337 mod PRL and Sprint Latest. So in case you want to go back to the Sprint PRL, uh, select that. I do want to make a quick note that if you are going to use one of these Verizon PRLs, any of these four, uh, LTE is not going to work. So you're not going to, if you're in a 4G LTE area, 
Um, it will not connect, so just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you might want to just stick to the Sprint PRL if you are in a uh, Sprint LTE area, but I'm not at the moment, so I'm going to go ahead and select the 01337 mod PRL because that's the one I've been using. But again, you can test them all out yourself. Um, you'll see up at the top, I have absolutely no bars. I, I'm in terrible service. I will really get very spotty 3G even. It sometimes doesn't even, doesn't even connect. So now I'm going to go to 01337 mod and then hit flash PRL. What that's going to do is just write the PRL to our device, and then it will actually reboot our radio. So give it a little bit of time. You'll see the signal bars are just completely black now because it is restarting our radio. Okay, and it is done. You'll see current PRL 1337. It has been changed, and up at the top, you'll see I now have three out of four signal bars. That has been improved, and uh, yeah. So, I mean, you can double check and go into your settings, and then go to about phone, and then go to status and then double check and make sure you have that PRL written to your phone. But I mean, I, I can already tell just by uh, my signal bars, just due to the fact that I have zero when I'm on a sprint PRL, but now I'm force roaming. So uh, if I hop off my Wi-Fi network, 3G should connect and I will be on Verizon's 3G network as well. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's been working great for me. So you'll see I am now on 3G and I have very good signals. Call quality is great now. Um, and I can now also use 3G data. So there you go. That would be how to force roam on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus on Verizon's network. So again, uh, a good alternative for those of you like me that have absolutely no signal and terrible Sprint signal wherever you're at. And again, um, I actually switch off because I can get LTE. So when I go to an LTE area, I'll actually switch my PRL to the stock Sprint one and then use LTE. And when I come back home, I'll switch back to the Verizon PRL because again, I can't even make or receive calls sometimes on the Sprint PRL. So that's it. Uh, hopefully this helped you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, and I don't know if you guys have stuck around this long, but I did want to make show you guys something real quick. You will see this is actually my account. I've actually used more uh, Sprint 3G data roaming than I have actual just Sprint data. The reason being because when I'm out, I actually use LTE um, around my uh, in my area where I go. I'm always on LTE. Otherwise, when I come home, I just uh, type in that Verizon PRL and uh, roam on Verizon. So there you have it, uh, showing you that it does work just fine.